What's up? Hope everyone's having a great day. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and push that subscribe button. And don't forget to thumbs this video up. Now let's talk peppermint. Let's talk about the script real quick. This is a very cliche, basic, vigilante script. We've seen this type of movie before, where we have an individual watching family members get gunned down. The killers don't get convicted of the crime, and the individual takes matters into their own hand and starts delivering what they believe is true justice. But this movie's strong point is not its script, it's the directing, it's the acting, and the mother freaking entertainment. Let's talk about Jennifer Garner in this film, y'all. Hey, Jennifer Garner, you gonna get one of these, baby. <laughs> Jennifer Garner was a breath of fresh air for me because Jennifer Garner gave me what we believe is a true action entertainment film. My gosh, she was the Punisher fused in with the Batman and Elektra. Shout out to her playing Elektra. I love Jennifer Garner in this film. She gave me so many chills watching this movie, watching her as a mother, loving her family. I was like, oh, I feel some type of way. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. The hair on my knees have risen. I like this. And then watching her family die and her wanting the criminals to pay. I was like, wow, I feel this. The hairs on my legs have risen. And when she disappeared and came back as the Punisher, I was like, damn. The hairs on my chinny chin chin was risen. I was like, oh my gosh, this is tight. I compared her to John Wick. I was like, fuck, she's out there, yo. I like this. Jennifer Garner gave a very believable visual ante. Like, I, I, I believed it. The way she held the guns wasn't false. You know how sometimes you see petite women holding guns, you be like, nah, I don't believe that shit. But the way she held the guns was very believable. I was feeling it. I like Jennifer Garner in this movie. I liked her, man. And I say shout out to Jennifer Garner. Hey, I need more of you on this type of note. You know what I mean? Because she was more Batman than Ben Affleck. And that's facts. The directing. This movie was directed by a gentleman named uh, Pierre Morel. He directed Taken with Liam Neeson. And you all know how that shit turned out. Fire! He was able to give us that taken experience with Jennifer Garner. But Jennifer Garner threw in that Electra. You know what I'm saying? Like she threw in a little bit of that and I was digging it 100%. I like the gunshots, the headshots, baby. I was liking Jennifer Garner. The directing was up, up. It was a scene in this movie that I was like. I was like, this shit tight, baby. Give me more. And it gave me more. The directing was a breath of fresh air because I've been watching a lot of action films lately and a lot of them have not satisfied me. Stupid shaky camera, too close, you can't see. Jennifer Garner was getting down, baby. Headshot, boom, boom, ah, ah. Directing, catching all that shit. And I loved it. And it made it that much entertaining. The audience was popping. We were laughing. I was sitting next to an old couple. They always in the theater every week and we were just having a ball. My boy E sitting next to me. We having a ball. This shit was fun. Finally, we had a fun film with great action. Not Omega, but my gosh, this shit was amazing. I really enjoyed this movie. I need more films like this. This is an under the radar film. They did not I didn't know anything about this movie until like two weeks ago. This type of movie should have been promoted. This is a cool film. I really like this movie. If you're an action goer, you'll enjoy this movie. If you like to see the bad guy truly get what he deserves, you'll like this type of movie. I gotta grade this mother freak. I'm gonna give Peppermint a solid B because it really it really was a breath of fresh air for me. The downside of this movie, I got to, <laughs> was the music. There were scenes I was like, why are they playing that shit? 
that shit sound weak. But besides that, the acting, the directing, the entertainment really made this movie pop for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the review where I keep that shit 100 at all times, baby. Thumbs this video up and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to Team J3 and my Patreon family. I truly love you and appreciate you guys for holding your boy J3 down. Always love you guys. J3 out. Oh.